The heavyweight title fight, WKA Junior, I should say, heavyweight title fight, Stan Longleaties from Australia against Lawrence White from the UK. Now, this is fireworks time. Guy Fawkes night in the ring here. And Stan Longleaties is a man possessed. He's a man on a mission. Ranked man on a number one in the world to the world champion. He is the number one contender at this point in time, but he failed in taking that title. He's very well tuned now. I think that was a good medicine for him, that last encounter with Maurice Smith. And of course, he's looking very fit, very strong, and very hungry. Now, we'll be working over 12 two-minute rounds in this one, and uh, this is going to be a world title fight ranking, so the way it works out, no kick cards. It's an open card fight, no kick cards on this, so we could once again see only three kicks, or we could see a number of kicks. A number of kicks, How yes. do you see this fight pinning out? Well, I think stands out to prove to the Australian crowd that he, he is a winner. He was a winner leading up to that uh, encounter with Maurice Smith. And I think and there's a good chance, every chance in the world, that he'll be up on the winning dais this time. Now, this is a vacant title, OK? So no one holds this title that these two guys are fighting for, so either of them could win it and uh, take the title with them. Let it be Stan back to Sydney. And uh, in the case of uh, Lawrence White, it will be well, Stan Longanides is the number one contender and Lawrence White being the number three contender. And he is current British and European heavyweight champion. Uh, so he's got some reps on him. Victory of 24 fights from 26 contests, 19 by KO. So the men's are able to back it up. And of course Stan Longanides, what can we say about Stan? He is one hell of a man. They call him Stan the man. 21 fights, yes. one loss, one draw, and of course 17 wins by knockout. Mate, these guys pale into insignificance, but when you think about their 300 fights that our champion has got. for Chendi. Yes, 300 fights. Well, he's, uh, I hope they all finish in the first round. He's a nasty bit of work when he gets in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My shout every time. <laughs> he just wouldn't have to put his hand in his pocket. Oh, boy. No problem. <laughs> any time you want dinner. Yeah, sure. I'll sit down. Stan's a very flamboyant character. You can see here he's uh, attired and he's worn. He's uh, very showmanship orientated. He's showing incredible flexibility here too. He's, uh, it's always a good way to psych out your opponent. Well, Lawrence White in the cover, colours of the devil. You never know. It could be the devil. Maybe the devil from the deep blue sea. We can just see a very pertinent point here. Stan's just removed a Collingwood football jersey. And uh, that's something that's um, very close to Stan's heart, actually. Unfortunately for the football industry in Victoria and for Collingwood and, and most probably uh, for Stan himself, Darren Malone was involved in a very serious car accident and unfortunately he has left uh, the world to a faraway place. And well, a lot of upset people over that uh, incident. Uh, had one of the biggest funerals in Melbourne history. Yeah it's, a, it's, man. yeah, it's not a, not a good thing to talk about, but of course Stan was a very close friend and is a great supporter of the Collingwood Club, and uh, that's why he's worn that jersey in there tonight, to sort of like pay homage to a man that he had utmost respect for, and a very good friendship with too, so it's going to be interesting, Greg, if he can do that tonight uh, for that man that no longer with us. Well, he stands that sort of guy. He's, uh, he will offer this fight up, and I've sort of predict, because of that, I predict Stan to win tonight. Well, you can see the focus in the man's mind, and of course, uh, he's going to carry that weight with him through this fight. 12 rounds, two minute rounds, and uh, Stan Longdonides, and I, I can't say anything bad about the man. He's just a, a great ambassador for sport uh, in general. We can see him in centre ring now. They're just getting final instructions. That would have happened. Cash Gill jumping in there. He'll be working in the seconds corner for Lawrence White. He's in there right now just to hear those final instructions. And uh, as we let it go now, last instructions will be given out. Well, as we said, vacant title. It's going to be tough. Mate, I want to I want to have a decision from you. I want to have a, who do you think? I don't know too much well, about the Leading up to, up to that last encounter with Maurice Smith, Stan was undefeated. And he's hungry for a victory again. He, he didn't like the taste of defeat. And I think his guy, Stan, is... Going to do well tonight. Well, these both fighters looking very fit as they come out for round one in this 12 two minute round fight. World title, it's a vacant title, so either man could take it away with them tonight. So, no champion's going to get the benefit of the doubt, so to speak, if it comes down to a points decision. Okay. Ooh, oh, there's a knockdown. Is, is that a blatant knockdown? It is. He's given him a standing eight count. Stan, the man, has bitten the canvas now, in the first 40 seconds. Combination knockdown slip. Because Lawrence White moving in. Gee, 
Lawrence White is a big, big man. Look at the definition on this man. He's tall. Uh, he would be coming in on the scales at around 93 kilos, would you say? Around about 93 that? kilos. Uh, yeah. Stand the man uh, before it was in the ring against Maurice Smith, in a similar proportions to this guy. Oh. Now, Stan took a lot of punishment in that fight. Is that going to tell tonight? No. What it did show was that Stan is tough and that he can take punishment. And of course, uh, I, I think that's good. Every opponent he's had in the past which is white. And uh, Maurice Smith brought him back to earth. Very stocky, he said. Very thick through the legs. And uh, I think you're going to see um, him trying to get in. Stan will try and get in close and sort him out and nullify the reach advantage that Lawrence White has because it's a big, big advantage. Lawrence White, as we said before, has to use his legs. Has to push him away. Jam with those legs. There he goes again, moving in. Or moving in with the front kick. Stan gets out of the way very well. Stan moves in, throws a bit of uh, glove, foot, and gets out of the way. Lawrence White's looking very impressive at this point in time, and Stan, the man, is going to have his work cut out. He's had a knockdown in the first 40, 40 seconds of round one, and uh, that's not a good way to start your title. Not a good way to start, chance. but it uh, could, could be a blessing in disguise. You've got to be more careful. No, it's White's just prancing around the ring, very relaxed, and just uh, picking his moment. Lawrence is White's round, without that. Knocked down? Yep, got to get it to him. I'd score that a, maybe a 10-8 round. 10-8. It's a big comeback. It's going to generally, have to with a knockdown like that, it uh, is generally two points. And Stan looks a little worse for wear there. Now Stan's, uh, he has to be, oh, well, like anyone hates to hit the canvas. Uh, Stan doesn't especially like to hit the canvas. Well, I don't think it's hitting the canvas. It's looking up at the light. <laughs> That's what scares me. Well, you wait for the shades. angels. <laughs> you wait for the angels just to descend upon you and pick you up. But uh, we're looking at a very, very determined Lawrence White. Can't get out of that fight from Alex Tui. Just proved yet again he is without doubt. Can anyone one. in his weight division beat him? I don't think so, mate. Back to round two. Here we go. And our main fight tonight, Stan Longzimides, the man they call him, from Melbourne, up against, you guessed it, Lawrence White from Birmingham in England. And look at this, the exchanges are starting to heat up. Stan on the knees is running that right leg out a couple of times. Front kicks. Just Front kicks, and he's got a good left uh, roundhouse kick, too. He's very fast. He, he skips and belts it out. He does skip, too. Very good point. He he's does got good, skip. He's got terrific footwork. Well, we're watching him now. The exchanges are starting to pick up. This fight's starting to pick up in momentum. There we go. You see yep. the flexibility of yep. Stan there. Lifts his leg up beautifully, and uh, of course, he didn't let it go then. I think Lawrence White's confidence has dropped a little bit since that first round. They've sent to taper off a little, and he's now concentrating on just keeping his guard up and keeping Longanides away from him. Lawrence, Lawrence White, being an experienced campaigner, knows that uh, Stan would come back from... Uh, well, he just realised that it was a little bit of lack of concentration by Stan. Yeah, because he snuck it in. It just caught me by surprise, too. It, uh, well, Stan was tripping, and he snuck that... So it was a knockdown. Yep, well, you've got to give it to him. So round one went to Lawrence. And now, Stan the Man working on bringing back round two. I noticed in uh, Stan the Man's last encounter with Maurice Smith that uh, Maurice worked uh, Stan's thigh region a lot. He, he did, took, didn't he? Yes. He kicked very heavily on that area, and Stan took that without any drama. He, he took it well, and uh, but it, it, he had a few bruises there after the, oh, yeah. the match. Yeah, absolutely. But it didn't take him off his feet. No. Nullified the kick a little that he, he does possess. But uh, Stan likes to get in and brawl, really. He does like to get in there and exchange it. He's not uh, too scared, and he can no, both his, punishment. Both these guys aren't brawling. Oh, here come here, move Stan, moving in again. Left, right kick there, and then followed it with a left over the top. And they hold up again. Of course, got both these guys that have a healthy respect for each other. Yeah, neither fighter cutting down the ring. They're both prepared to let the other fighter uh, move around and, and cover on that ring. Well, mate, it is a long, long... Uh, Lawrence White got the better of that quick exchange then, and then uh, as the seconds jump up on the side of the ring, Lawrence White goes back to the blue corner, Stan back to the red corner. We complete round two. Greg, what's your thoughts? Long, long way to go, mate. Ten, ten rounds to go. Pretty even. Where would you say? Uh, round one definitely to Lawrence White. Round two? Even. Even round. So still we're looking Lawrence at... Lawrence White. Yeah. We're looking at Lawrence White in front as we head into round three. Stan getting a little bit of an ice pack on the back of the neck there. That helps a little bit with the temperature of the body, I believe. And cools you down a little. Seconds will be out of the ring as we commence round three here at Jupiter's Casino on the picturesque Gold Coast of Australia. You can't beat it. A little bit of moisture there on uh, Stan's feet and in the corner. He's been made to wipe that up as we commence round three. 
Oh, Stan right. moving that beautiful left hand. He's getting his left oh, moving he's beautifully. Stunning. Yes, good fighting from Stan. He's come on well out of this round. That came from nowhere. Greg, it just started. Came from nowhere. He's, he's very he's very well uh, coordinated with his left side, Stan. Oh, another left over the top. Those, he's hit him twice now with that looping left hand over the top. So obviously the guard is not as good as I thought it was on Lawrence White. Well, I think we might see some fireworks in this round. These guys have been checking each other out the first two rounds. Yeah, and, uh, I think so, yeah. Good call. Very good call, Greg, as they start to really mix it up now. Oh, geez, he just missed with that over the top again, that left. He loves to throw it, doesn't he? Here's a jab from Stan. He's not hitting the mark of Lawrence White. Yeah, Lawrence White just once again there, both staying in centre ring. Neither fighter trying to corner the other boxer into the corner and take him down. Looking at uh, both fighters, uh, Stan seems to be more the more gifted of the two in the kicking department. And of course his hands are looking very good too, Stan. But uh, Lawrence White's uh, his hands are looking good too. There you go. Stan comes in with a, a kick to Lawrence's thigh. Crowd a little bit quiet at the present oh, time. Lawrence is just a little lost in, in the ring. Because Lawrence has this habit of turning his back on Stan. That's a, a dangerous thing to do. Well, because when you turn around, you know where he's going to be. <laughs> on your doorstep. So far, the ref hasn't had to break them up too much either. So both fighters are still you know, relatively fresh and uh, they're not involving themselves in too many clinches. No, uh, well, there are 12 rounds here. It's, a, it's going to be a long fight. These guys are using their energy wisely at the present time. Both guys looking very fit. Oh, for sure. It's a credit to both them and their, their corners for the amount of work that they've got with these two fellows. You know, the type, it's important that uh, you are 100% uh, situation. As we know, the champion, if he's a champion, he normally gets the benefit of the doubt. Not tonight. I think one of these fighters is going to definitely have to stop the other. And they're just taking it now. It's three rounds down. I would still say that uh, Lawrence White is out in front. Lawrence White, I'd, I'd say that round was a, a draw again. Uh, Stan the man beginning to find his feet. Thrusting out that left roundhouse kick, head high region, and of course he showed that he was using his uh, right turning kick to the thigh region of Lawrence White. Lawrence White second, uh, cooling him down with the towel. You know, Lawrence White is on the contender listing, he is sitting in at number three. So this is very important for his career that he establishes himself here in Australia to uh, lament a possible title shot. But at the moment, that Maurice Smith uh, is just awesome. There's just no other, no other way to say it. No, at least I should say huge because he can the way he fights. Well, he, he can take. That's what the beauty of uh, Maurice Smith. Don't get me wrong. He's, there's no nothing beautiful about him. It's just his fighting style is uh, fabulous. He's, he can take punishment and he. he oh, Stan's just snuck that left and right. It was a good exchange from Stan, and he got yep. that through the guard on Lawrence White. And Lawrence a little off balance at the moment. That's like Stan coming over with that big right hand. Lawrence grabs his composure, snaps that left hand out again. So there's Stan showing his flexibility and his speed with that right, or that left leg, I should yeah, say. That left kick, but it's not connecting, mate, and uh, it's only wasteful energy. So is that left, wasted again. And he's giving Lawrence, giving Lawrence think, uh, a warning, <laughs> hopefully. Well, Stan can get on target. There's a good chance he could take this bout. But he's going to have to do to get on target. He's got to find it. Hand speed of both. The hand right speed. left combination by Stan. The hand speed of both these boxes, Greg, is, is very, very good. Well, these guys, they're, they're ranking, uh, they're up, not up there for nothing. Uh, number one and number That's three in the world. Now, Lawrence Watts calling Stan on, saying, come on, you want to give it to me? Come on, he's talking to him, teasing him, smiling at him. And Stan obliged me. Once again, the ropes haven't been used very much by either boxer. They get on and they just get off them very quick. No guys uh, let loose yet. Here we go. But uh, it, it just hasn't been a, a flurry. Flurry. No, they're just small flurries, aren't they? They're not following through at all. We still have this uh, good respect for each other. 
We saw in the earlier bet where Barkle got the other fellow on in, in trouble and just steamrolled. Whereas both of these guys, when the other guy seems a little bit off his game, they've backed off. He's down. And uh, as we complete round four, I would say the card is coming close to being even. Coming close to being even. No, I, I, I think Stan did more that round. I, I would give that round to Stan. Doesn't seem to have too much bruising or uh, swelling around the face. So at this point in time. Stan pops in the mouth guard. Okay, seconds out. There's a hush comes over this crowd. Uh, they're obviously uh, enthralled by what's taking place right in front of them here at Jupiter's Casino. As we come out, round five. And for the first time, fighters come out very quickly on top of one another. Lawrence White working away on Stan. Ball, Stan snuck in a good left and right then. Good exchange from Stan. Stan lunging out with that big lip hand and then coming in with the right uh, roundhouse kick. Stan's looking good. Stan's gaining more confidence. He likes to come on later in a fight, Stan, and he's proving that here, that he warms up to the task as opposed to accelerate. Stan's an incredibly fit athlete. He uses that fitness wisely in the ring. Lawrence White still standing very, very upright, using that height advantage that he does has, that he does have, uh, to the best of his advantage. He's been able to keep Londonese away from him, and that's been very effective so far. There's nothing in this scorecard now other than that first round knockout. At the moment, that leans a little bit to White. <laughs> First real clinch of the fight, where the actual fighters have hung on for a little bit of a time. The uh, tiredness of guys, tiredness starting to creep into this uh, fight. I see a couple of people over in that front row. Every time they come over to that corner, they sort of flinch and <laughs> sit back a little harder in their chairs. <laughs> Boys is really starting to work this fight out now. I think they've sort of found each other's measure. They know the strong points and the weak points, Greg, and we could see uh, a few drastic changes in the next, say, three to four rounds. Generally, with these big guys, they, they have to watch what they do, with, especially with their energy, the first half of the fight, and uh, you generally see some uh, fireworks in the second half. Now, do, would they take much fluids during this fight, or would they try and limit it to... to they well? have to have quite a bit of fluid, these guys. They're big guys, and... Uh, I'm just sweating a lot. Sweats out of them, yeah. Pours out of them. Pours out of them. Pours out of them. Well, Lawrence White back in that blue corner. He'll get towed down. They'll fan him down. As uh, Stan the man. Well, there's nothing in this, mate. No, it's a very even fight now. I would say it's come up to pretty close to square. I still, if the fight was uh, asked for a decision now, I'd have to give it to Lawrence White. Lawrence Purely White. simply on that. A count back. Yes. A count back, uh, Lawrence White. Uh, it's my night at the present time. And so does this young lady. Out of all our meet and raves, that young lady gets my coins. A couple of instructions. Now Stan's uh, very wet coming into this ring. He's got a lot of moisture on the surface of the body. Whether the ref requires him to wipe down, he doesn't. So that's a surprise to me. Uh, of these guys, they, well, they, they pour it down, yes, uh, it makes the canvas a little bit slippery, doesn't it? Well, not only that, the punches that uh, are landed will tend to slide off the body, rather than stick to the body, and uh, I think it's a bit unfair, as you say, it also makes the canvas greasy, and that causes a few problems. There First goes, one then. of the roundhouses, there you go. Lawrence White stood well back, just snapped his chin back out of the way. Yes, it, uh, it was a well-executed kick, but of course the timing is a little bit out. Uh, Lawrence White saw it uh, coming. A little bit so, a little bit of a telegraph there. And Stan trying to open up his full range of technique. Because no guy has, uh, no fighter has opened up yet. I haven't seen a weakness in uh, Lawrence's defence either. It's pretty solid. He's looking good. He's uh, eyes his partner, or his opponent, I should say, out very well. That's it. He's very wide across the back. <laughs> He's enormous, actually, across the back. Oh, nearly snapped his legs from under him then. That was a good workout from Longanudis. Stan might be uh, showing the psychological effects of that defeat. Oh no, wayward punches three, wayward punches two from Longanudis and one from Lawrence. In his last encounter with Maurice Smith. 
because he took a lot of punishment in that fight and you can see that uh, the kicks just starting to uh, become a little bit more prolific now as we work into the latter rounds of this fight we've got 12 two minute rounds and i'm going to put my neck out here and say this won't go the distance you know, these boys are starting to really wind this up and if they uh, progressively wind this up like a turbine by the time we hit round eight nine ten these boys are going to be smoking we are looking at 12 rounds, and of course it is oh, a long time. Oh, clubbing right hand over the top. It snuck right through on Lawrence's wide's defence. He's in trouble. Hangs onto him. A very dangerous back. technique from uh, Stan the Man, coming over with that uh, big right hand, and of course it collected Lawrence White. Fair on the chin. Well, that's what's doing the damage at the moment in the fight. Definitely that big right hand from, from you know, Stan. That big right hand is the difference between, between the two in this round. Yeah, absolutely. And that stung Lawrence White. You know, he was really put off that one. It really hurt him. He went back to the corner, and I'm sure that his uh, corner men will be uh, really more than waving the towel at him. Well, seventh round coming up. Twelve to be completed. But as I said, I think you're really going to see the fireworks start to uh, hot up there. Not much swelling around either boxer's faces, so uh, they haven't taken too much. No, they, these the guys haven't let loose yet. Of course, the crowds are waiting in anticipation for some fireworks. We can see how quickly things can change. Look at Grant Barker fight. Grant Barker is down and out, and then suddenly, Ooh. bang. Now the guy's down, and of course out. Yeah, here we go now. On in round seven. A little bit of pit and pat on there. Just a little tentative to go in early. Realising that these are two minute rounds, not one minute 30 rounds. There's no kick count, so they can exchange a small amount of kicks or they can exchange a large amount of kicks. Stan's looking a little more composed than Lawrence White at this stage of the fight. Seems to be picking his uh, punches and kicks out very well now. Hitting the mark more often. Lawrence is getting a little tentative. Left and right from Stan. They weren't that devastating a punch, but it seems to have hurt him a little. Lawrence White, whether he's foxing, just taking it back onto the ropes. First time I've seen the ropes actually take the weight of the body. Stan starting to wind it up a little. Lawrence was starting to realise that he's in a fight now. He's really starting to have to pick his defence right up and keep it very tight. Keep, oh, good right, and that's put him on the canvas. That was that a beautiful hit. technique, right and left, and of course he hit him in the leg and uh, knocked him off his feet. Yeah, those kicks are really starting to make way now. They're really starting to handle Lawrence. But he's up, he's up. No, they're not going to go on with it. Stan stopped it. Stan becomes a new world champion, mate. We've got another one in the country. Another one. What can we do? Geez, I'd like to see that in replay. That we is, can't uh, lose, that's what we can do. That is we incredible performance from Stan because nothing was really happening. Just like in Barker's fight, not much happening. And then all of a sudden, a small flurry, and you see the, the victor stand a there. A very impressive performance from Stan the man tonight. Uh, he played it like a game of chess. Well, I'm sure he's going to hang on to that title now. He's going to work very hard to keep that title. And Stan is ecstatic. Jupiter's Stan Casino Stan has played his mark tour. and well, hammering. Absolutely. And world title. Yeah. There's Marie Stratton there, putting on another wonderful... From Mammoth Sports Promotions, by the way, who put this all together, and uh, a great promoters in the kickboxing sport. And she's looking very happy. Well, maybe we might, might get a word from Stan. He can't believe it. Emotion has really hit Stan very hard at the moment. And I'm sure that Jeff Fennick will be somewhere in the wings to offer his congratulations to Stan on a performance that surprised me. I, I thought it was going to go, you know... Eight, nine, and ten. I was looking for. You can't you know, with these heavyweights. I mean, anything can happen. It's it's so explosive. These guys have got so much power in their technique that if one connects, that's the end, virtual end of the fight. And the actual exchange that uh, put out Lawrence White didn't really devastate me that much. But then again, the results on the scorecard. You yes, see, yeah, yeah, the power anyway. I mean, that's still there. Just uh, congratulating Stan the man. Showing his incredible height. <laughs> Stan overcome with emotion. Well, there's a big entourage in there now, and Stan's very relieved because, as we called it earlier, he had that loss and uh, he had to come up with a win. It was, well, he, uh, Stan, the man tonight the showed his true championship qualities. He went into this fight. And, uh, he well, he's got that jersey on, and of course. Uh, 
it'd be very positive for Darren. It's uh, great to see that uh, Stan has, has done that. And uh, this is a tribute to, to a most probably a very, very good friend. And as I said, Stan, whether he's going to say anything, he doesn't say too much, old Stan. He's not like Grant Barker. Grant Barker just grabs that microphone. Just take a few moments of your time, please. I'd like to share a couple of things with you. First of all, I'd like to thank everyone involved in my preparation. My manager, Nick Kennis, who's been the best thing that's ever happened to me. All the team, Dana Goodson, Lee, Nick Matthews, all the guys. There's so many people I have to thank. But one thing I want to share with all of you is that I've fought for three world titles. This is my fourth. The first one I fought in Perth, I should have won and I drew. The second one I fought in Melbourne, I won in a controversial way. I thought that my fans, my growing army of fans, deserved better than that, so I relinquished the title the next day. I fought in Sydney for a world title, and I lost a split decision against the best heavyweight in the, in the world, Maury Smith, who I plan on getting back pretty soon. But what I want to say is, I'll always have a special place in my heart for Jupiter's, because this is where I finally got my chance, and I won't. A very, very emotional and likeable guy. Man. Yeah, sure. He's, yeah. he's one of the best things that's happened to Australian kickboxing. Doesn't matter how tough you are, mate. It, it gets to you at any stage in, in your career or in your lifetime. It does happen, doesn't it, mate? Oh, you've got to look at our illustrious Prime Minister. Well, he set the trend, didn't he? <laughs> I, want to th I want to thank Maurice Stratton. This is the first show that we've done together, and I hope it's not going to be the last. I want to thank Jeff Finnick, who's been following my career closely and coming to all my fights. I want to thank my friends from Collingwood. I'm a big Collingwood fan. They've come all the way to support me. I want to thank John Mullane, and I dedicate this to Darren. He's the best. <laughs> best. He's a very good friend, Darren, and it's unfortunate such a tragic thing to happen, but got a homage way to pay respects.